Are the cameras ready? Thanks. Um, afternoon, everyone. Um, just a reminder before we get started, we had quite a lot of mobile phone disruption in the previous press conference, so please can I ask you to ensure that your mobile phones are muted or on vibrate. And please don't take any phone calls during the course of this press conference, um, just to observe the protocols of this um, situation. And also please ensure that you have um, a microphone before you ask a question so that the um, transcribers will be able to make it out. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Uh, <laughs> रोहित ये जो टीम है वो आगे भी जाने न तू पीछे भी जाने न तू ऐसा कर रही है जो भी है बस ये ये कपल है ये इनकलकेट करने में कितना टाइम लगा है और उसका क्या फायदा हुआ है जी देखिए हमने इस दिन का जो भी प्रेपरेशन किया है दो साल पहले जो हमने स्टार्ट किया था जब से मैं कैप्टन बना हु Obviously, पहले T20 World Cup था, उसके बाद Championship था, World Test, उसके बाद अभी ये था। तो तीनों format के लिए हमारा preparation था, players identify करना था कि कौन से players सही players हो सकते हैं, कौन से format के लिए। तो ये जो हमने किया था process, ये दो ढाई साल का process था, हमने identify किए थे कि ये सारे प्लेयर्स होंगे जो तीनों फॉर्मेट में अलग-अलग टाइम पे हिस्सा लेंगे और उनको रोल क्लेरिटी दिया गया था कि रोल ये तुम्हारा रोल होगा ऐसे करके जो बेसिक्स होता है एक कैप्टन और कोच का उस तरीके से हमने सबको आईडेंटिफाई करके उनको बोला था कि ये आपका काम होगा टीम के लिए तो आई थिंक अभी � परफॉर्मेंस होना ना होना एक बात है बट अगर एस लॉन्ग एस सारे लड़के जो खेल रहे अगर वो क्लियर है तो काम थोड़ा सा आसान हो जाता है तो हमने काफी कोशिश इस चीज पे रखा हुआ था कि क्लियर माइंडसेट से खेलेंगे क्लियर रोल आईडेंटिफाई करेंगे और कौन से लड़के कहाँ पर आके बैटिंग करेंगे कौन से लड़के कहाँ पे बॉल करेंगे कौन सा लड़का स्लिप में खड़ा होगा ये सब चीज़ का हमने प्लानिंग किया था तो अभी तक यहाँ तक सारा कुछ अच्छा रहा है होपफुली कल का दिन भी वैसे ही रहे तो अच्छा होगा रोहित हाउ इज इट टू टेक ऑन अ नॉट सो डोमिनेंट ऑस्ट्रेलिया बट डस द टैग ऑफ फाइव टाइम चैंपियंस यू आर केगी अबाउट इट और हाउ इज इट दैट नो आई मीन आई आई डोंट अग्री विथ नॉट बीइंग डोमिनेंट दे वन एट आउट ऑफ एट uh, the last eight games that they've played and they played it really well so it's going to be a good contest you know both teams obviously uh, both, both teams deserve to be uh, at this stage uh, playing the finals uh, and we do understand the importance of uh, what Australia uh, can do uh, you know they are a very uh, complete side and uh, for us again what is important is to focus on what we want to do as a team and I have said it many a times in the past uh, in this tournament and even now I will say the same thing that uh, we w don't want to worry about uh, <clears throat> what the opposition is and what kind of you know form they are in and all of that we need to focus on uh, what is important for us uh, what we need to do as a team and as as players as well so a lot of focus and a lot of time is given to that thought and we will stick to stick to it. Right, uh, the nation wants to know whether, uh, are you, why are you laughing, huh? um, whether the team is calm, quiet and composed for the final? Come to the ground, you'll see uh, the players. It's obviously an optional training, not everyone is here. <coughs> because, I mean, it's before the game, usually we keep an optional training uh, so that you know the guys can do what they want to do but yeah leading up to uh, every game we've been quite composed quite calm about you know what we want to do uh, because we know uh, how it is 
outside the environment that we have. We know how it is and uh, uh, the expectations and the pressure and, you know, the criticism and everything, uh, you know. So it's important that we stick to our strength, uh, our group uh, and what we uh, want to do as a team. This, this is not just now, this has been happening since game number one, uh, that we have tried to maintain that, uh, you know, calmness around the dressing room, uh, <clears throat> even on the field. Uh, you know, when there is a situation where we've been put under pressure, we try to stay calm and just react to that pressure. No, uh, I wanted to know this because on the eve of the final, that is important. It's a, it's a different ma match altogether. And, you know, not many players have uh, played or took part in such a final. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely right. Uh, but Abhi, inside what they feel, I can't tell you because I'm not spending 24 hours with them. So I don't know how each individual will be feeling, but when they are around the group, around our meetings, around our trainings, everybody seems to be quite relaxed uh, and calm. Like I said in the last PC as well, I was asked about dealing with pressure. I said, being an Indian cricketer, you have to deal with pressure. There is no doubt about it. So that's, that's given and it's there. It's going to be constant uh, today. We are playing tomorrow, someone else will play, day after someone else will play. So they have to deal with these kind of pressure, criticism and everything. Accolades as well. I'm not just saying criticism. You guys have uh, praised a lot of players as well. So, uh, so everything is included. You have to deal with it as an elite sportsman. You have to deal with all these kind of things. But yeah, looking... Uh, Rohit, uh, one minute please. Uh, Rohit... Uh, yeah, uh, Seamus' performance, 54 wickets between 3 and 31 by spinners. Is it the best you have seen as a pl player and captain, they perform as a professional group of bowlers, glimpses of which were seen in Colombo during the Asia Cup? Yeah, I, I can say that. I mean, the bowlers have actually done a great job for us in this tournament. Uh, you know, when we started off, uh, we, were, we were chasing in the first four or five games and to restrict teams below 300 on, you know, Indian conditions was a great effort. Uh, so it's not been easy. Uh, it, con con containing batsmen, restricting the opposition is not an easy job. But our seamers and the spinners did that perfectly. Uh, and then again, when we, the second half of the tournament where we had to defend scores, we've defended quite clinically as well. So yeah, I can say that, you know, they've been very professional. Uh, they, they know what is expected out of them. Um, you know, all the three seamers that have played in the second half, uh, Shami, Siraj, Bumrah, they know exactly what is expected and they try and... Yeah, yeah, phone bandra ko, yeah. So, you know, they know exactly what is expected and uh, how they want to go about doing that stuff. And the same for the spinners as well. The spinners have come in... Uh, where, you know, we wanted to take wickets in the middle overs and they've done that. Uh, so, I, I, all I can say is they've been quite professional about, you know, doing their job and getting the job done for the team. Rohit, you said that players के बारे में तो आप इतना नहीं बता सकते कि उनके मन में क्या सोच रहा है बट बाहर जो है स्टेडियम के बाहर नारे लग रहे हैं कि जीतेगा तो इंडिया ही आपके लिए पर्सनली इमोशनली या फिर उन खिलाड़ियों के साथ जिनके साथ आपने एक अरसा बिताया है आप कैसे देखते हैं इस दिन को क्योंकि अक्सर ये कहा जाता है कि ये वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल है इससे बड़ा कुछ हो नहीं सकता आपके लिए काफी वक्त हो गया क्रिकेट खेलते हुए भी तो आप और आपके इर्द-गिर्द जो वो खिलाड़ी हैं जिनके साथ आपने वक्त बिताया इमोशनली आप लोगों के लिए कैसे है नहीं देखिए इमोशनली बहुत बड़ी बहुत बड़ी चीज है बहुत बड़ा ओकेजन है विदाउट अ डाउट क्योंकि आप जो भी मेहनत और जो भी सपने देखते हो वो इस चीज के लिए देखते हो और आज वो दिन आज नहीं कल वो दिन हमारे सामने होगा बट देखिए प्रोफेशनल एथलीट्स का यही सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज होता है कि आप ये सब चीज को साइड में रखकर अपने काम पर कैसे ध्यान दे सकते हो तो आ, मेरे साथ साथ जितने भी और दस खिलाड़ी जो आ, खेलेंगे कल ग्राउंड के अंदर उनका उनका भी फोकस अपना जो उनका जो काम होगा करने के लिए टीम के लिए 
اس چیز پر زیادہ ہوگا رادہ دن تھنکنگ اباؤٹ کی یو نو یہ میرے لائف کا سب سے بڑا بومنٹ ہے افکورس ہے there is no doubt وہ back of the mind بالکل ہے ہی وہ آپ اس چیز سے آپ چھپ نہیں سکتے ہو but ایسے سیچویشن میں کام رہنا بہت ضروری ہے کیونکہ اگر آپ کام ہو کمپوزڈ ہو تو آپ کا جو رول ہے ٹیم کے لیے وہ آپ اچھے طریقے سے نبا سکتے ہو پریسر سیچویشن میں آپ اچھے ڈیسیجن لے سکتے ہو اگر آپ بیٹنگ کر رہے ہو تو کون سے شارٹس کھلنے اس ٹائم پر کون سے شارٹس نہیں کھلنے بولرز اگر بال ڈال رہے ہیں پریسر میں تو کیا ایگزیکیوٹ کرنا ہے ٹیم کے لیے کون سے بیٹسمن کا سٹرنٹ کہاں پر ہے کہاں نہیں ڈالنا چاہیے تو یہ سب چیز ایگزیکیوٹ کرنے کے لیے آپ کو شانت اور کام رہنا بہت ضروری ہے تو آئی تھنک لڑکوں کا فوکس اس چیز پر زیادہ ہوگا اینڈ دین اوکیجن تو ہے جیسے میں نے بتایا اوکیجن بہت بڑا ہے ایسے اوکیجن آپ کو ہر بار نہیں ملتے فائنل کھلنے کا موقع آپ کو ہر بار نہیں ملتا ہے اور میرے لیے یہ سب سے بڑا ایونٹ ہے ورلڈ کپ ففٹی اوور بچپن سے ہم میں تو ففٹی اوور ورلڈ کپ دیکھ کر بڑا ہوا ہو تو میرے لیے یہ سب سے بڑا مومنٹ ہے بٹ مجھے پتا ہے کہ ٹیم کو جو ٹیم کو میری ضرورت جہاں پر ہے اس چیز پر میرے کو دھیان دینا ہے اور باقی جو بھی چیز ہے اس کو تھوڑا سا تھوڑے دیر کے لیے میں سائیڈ میں رکھنا چاہوں گا Rohit, you have been phenomenal as a batsman as well as a captain. Just wanted to know what has been the role of the coach Rahul Ravid who has largely stay, stayed in the background, very understated. Uh, what has been his role in the leadership? No, his role has been absolutely massive uh, in terms of, uh, you know, getting that clarity which I keep talking about. Uh, there's one thing for me to think about and the other thing for coach to not agree to certain things. Um, clearly, you know, uh, looking at, uh, you know, how Rahul Bhai himself has played his cricket, uh, you know, and how I am playing these days, obviously, it's quite, quite contrasting. Uh, for him to agree and give me that freedom and liberty to go and play like that. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, check, hello, one, two, three, hello, okay. So, you, you were saying it's quite contrast to uh, the way he has Yeah, played. yeah, so, you know, for him to give us that liberty to go and play the way we want to play, you know, that, that says a lot about him. Uh, also, you know, the way he stood by the players uh, in difficult times where during the T20 World Cup, we had a, you know, good run up until that semi-final and we lost and how he reacted to certain situations uh, in, and informing the players. So, inform the players? Yeah, inform the players about, you know, this is what we are looking at and all of that you know, says a lot about him as, as well. And uh, obviously, you know, what he has done for Indian cricket is massive. And he also, uh, you know, feels that he wants to be part of this big occasion. Uh, and it's, it's for us to do it for him. Thank you. Uh, Rohit, I just want to know, uh, while talking about players and uh, helping them, and them knowing there's clarity of roles, etc., can you talk a little bit, I know it's oft repeated, but about Shami and how did you kind of manhandle him in trying to overcome the issues that he was having? Uh, issues? Uh, um, maybe, maybe it was injury or maybe... It no, no, I mean, yeah, see, like for him, it was so, it, it was tough for him to not play the initial part of the World Cup. Looking at him being one of the senior bowler for us, but you know, he was there for the team. Uh, he was there to help Siraj. He was there to help Bumrah in whatever ways he could. Uh, and that shows the quality of him, uh, you know, being the team man that he is. Uh, and it was very clear. We had a chat with him about, you know, why he missed out and everything. Uh, and then obviously on the sidelines, he was working on his bowling. Uh, and then I mean, the results are there for everyone to see how he has come back from that. Uh, that. That shows, you know, the kind of mental space that 
Shami was uh, before the World Cup and, and even now. Uh, it's not easy not being part of the team and then come, come out and, you know, do the job that in the way that he has done for us. Uh, says a lot about him, uh, you know. But like, you, you know, when you're playing a team sport, people do understand why X, Y, Z have to miss out uh, on certain occasions uh, because there's a lot that goes into uh, getting your player, uh, getting your 11 right. Uh, it, that depends everything, you, you know, on your conditions, uh, the opposition and the balance that you want to create. Uh, it was just that. And then once the opportunity opened up for him, he was, uh, he was, uh, he was right there. Uh, and that we, we all can see with his performance. Rohit, कल हमने अश्विन को बैटिंग और बॉलिंग करते हुए देखा है और देखा गया कि अभी पिछले मैचों में स्पिनर्स ने बहुत अच्छा काम किया है तो क्या कल तीन स्पिनर्स के साथ हम उतरने का कोई प्लानिंग बना रहे नहीं देखिए अब अभी ऐसा कुछ हमने डिसाइड नहीं किया है बट 15 के 15 लोग में से कोई भी खेल सकता है अपॉर्चुनिटी सबके लिए है हम अच्छी तरीके से विकेट को असेस करेंगे आज और कल भी आकर देखेंगे मैच के जस्ट पहले और डिसाइड करेंगे हम हमारे 12 या 13 तो फिक्स है कि कौन उसमें से खेलेगा बट हमें जस्ट देखना होगा कि विकेट कल कैसे दिख रहा है और क्या है हमारी स्ट्रेंथ क्या है उनकी वीकनेस क्या हो सकती है तो ये सब चीज देखना पड़ता है अभी हमने ऐसा कोई डिसीजन लिया नहीं है कि हमारी 11 क्या होगी बट सारे के सारे लड़के मैं चाहता हूं कि अवेलेबल रहे फिर देन कल डिसाइड करेंगे कि किसको खिलाना है रोहित ऑल द बेस्ट कल के लिए सबकी तरफ से थैंक यू साथ में ऑस्ट्रेलियन कैप्टन ने कहा कि उनके पास एडवांटेज यह है कि 2015 वर्ल्ड कप जीते हुए उनके पास 6 से 7 खिलाड़ी इस समय हैं इस टीम में क्या वाकई यह एडवांटेज है नहीं देखिए मेरे मेरे नजर में तो ऐसा एडवांटेज नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज़ आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि कौन से एंगल से वो बोल रहे हैं क्योंकि एक्सपीरियंस प्लेयर्स है उस फाइनल का एक्सपीरियंस उन्होंने वो फाइनल खेलने का एक्सपीरियंस है उन प्लेयर्स को बट आई थिंक जब आप ऐसा टूर्नामेंट खेलते हो और अभी हम 8 साल बाद की बात कर रहे हैं यू नो आई थिंक प्लेयर्स का करंट फॉर्म करंट स्टेट ऑफ माइंड सब उस उससे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है हमारे टीम में भी है लड़कों ने काफी फाइनल्स खेला है वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल नहीं खेला है बट काफी फाइनल्स खेला हुआ है दो लड़के हैं जिन्होंने 2011 में वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल खेला था अश्विन शायद नहीं खेले थे बट विराट खेले थे बट जहां तक बात है ऐसे फाइनल्स की आई थिंक काफी लड़के हैं टीम में जिन्होंने जैसे मैंने बताया कि फाइनल्स खेले हुए प्रेशर सिचुएशन को कैसे हैंडल करना है उन्हें मालूम है तो आई डोंट थिंक ऐसा कोई एक्स्ट्रा एडवांटेज होगा आई मीन वो उनकी सोच है हमारी सोच थोड़ी अलग है हम बस जिस तरीके से हम अपना क्रिकेट अब तक खेलते आ रहे हमें वैसे ही कंटिन्यू करना है और फिर देखते कहां क्या होता है टेम्परेचर्स आर डिफरेंट I ask comments the same thing in the morning. What do you think will be the different, and how do you think is wicket uh, uh, in in present condition? We were talking about 35 days ago, and now is the same wicket. What is the difference in that? Have you noticed anything, or what do you think about the wicket and the weather conditions? Yeah, I mean that wicket. Uh, there was no grass on it. This wicket has some grass on it. Uh, uh, you know that wicket looked a lot more drier than this one i don't know again maybe uh, you know we we still i still haven't looked today uh, how the wicket is but from my understanding obviously it's it's slightly it's going to be on the slower side uh, but again tomorrow we have to come and assess what it is like it's not going to change too much but it's always nice to uh, you know see the pitch on the day of the game and then assess what you want to do uh, that is something that we've uh, maintained for a long period of time and that is something that we've done before as well. So it's not something new for us to come and assess the pitch on the day of the game uh, and the players are aware of it as well. 
Um, but in terms of, you know, the conditions changing, yes, the temperatures have do dropped a little bit. I don't know how much of a dew factor there will be because, you know, against that Pakistan game, when we trained before the game, there were a lot of dew, but there was no dew during the game. And even, uh, you know, a few days back at Wankhede, we were training, there were a lot of dew on the game day. There wasn't much. So I, that's why I keep saying the toss is not going to be a factor. Uh, you've got to play well to win the game, regardless of, you know, the conditions and uh, the temperatures. Uh, you've got to play well, uh, you've got to play good cricket, uh, absorb the pressure whenever the, uh, the pressure has been put on you. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's that's where it boils down to. You've got to just understand what is expected out of you at that point in time. Uh, Rohit, uh, 20 years ago, India and Australia ka final was in 2003. So, do you remember that match? Have you ever thought that you will get a chance to get a chance to get against Australia? And that Australian team was also a chance to get a chance to get a chance to get मैच में कोई भी उतरने से पहले उनको लगता था इस टीम को हरा नहीं सकते थे अभी तक जिस तरह से ये इंडियन टीम खेली आपको लगता है सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ ऑरा है इवन विदाउट द वर्ल्ड कप ट्रॉफी नहीं देखिए मैं नहीं उस चीज पे बिलीव करता हूं ऑरा और वो सब चीज पे मैंने जैसे बताया कि आपको उस दिन पे अच्छा अच्छे तरीके से ग्राउंड पे आना है और अच्छा क्रिकेट खेलना है आ, मैं ये चीज में बिलीव नहीं करता हूं कि पिछले दस मैच में हमने क्या किया? Of course, confidence लेना बहुत जरूरी है ऐसे मैचेस में। दस मैचेस हमने अच्छे तरीके से खेला है। But again, आपने अगर कल गलतियाँ की, तो वो दस मैचेस में आपने जितना भी अच्छा काम किया है, वो पूरा वेस्ट होने का चांसेस है। तो I think अपने आप को बैलेंस रखना, अपने आप को काम रखना, ज़्यादा आगे पीछे का सोचना पिछले गेम को हम इस गेम में नहीं लेके आए या पास्ट में क्या हुआ या फ्यूचर में क्या होने वाला है वो सब चीज के बारे में हमने ज्यादा सोचा नहीं हमने बस यही सोचा है कि नेक्स्ट ऑपोजिशन कौन है उनके सामने हमको कैसा क्रिकेट खेलना है और हमारी स्ट्रेंथ क्या है उनकी स्ट्रेंथ क्या है कैसे उनके वीकनेस को एक्सप्लोर किया जाए और कैसे हमारे स्ट्रेंथ को बढ़ावा दिया जाए ये सब चीज पे ज्यादा फोकस रहता है ये नहीं कि 20 साल पहले क्या हुआ है और आई डोंट थिंक उस ऐसे चीजों में सोचकर हम ज्यादा वो नहीं करना चाहते प्रेजेंट चीज के बारे में सोचकर और अच्छे तरीके से प्रिपेयर करना चाहते रोहित भाई आपने एक आईसीसी टूर्नामेंट का फाइनल खेला 2007 में टी20 वर्ल्ड कप था जब एमएस धोनी कैप्टन थे आप बड़े यंग थे उस समय उन्होंने भी मैच से पहले या फाइनल से पहले कुछ मैसेज दिया होगा अब आप कैप्टन हैं वर्ल्ड कप का फाइनल है आप जब टीम हडल होगा या टीम मीटिंग होगी आपका क्या मंत्र क्या मैसेज प्लेयर्स के साथ कुछ चेंजेस नहीं होंगे जो जिस तरीके से मैंने अभी बताया जिस जैसे हम खेलते आए उसी तरीके से खेल खेलना पसंद करेंगे कोई अलग मैसेज देने की जरूरत है नहीं 2007 में मुझे नहीं लगता है कि एमएस ने कोई अलग मैसेज दिया था जिस तरीके से हमने स्टार्ट किया था उसी तरीके से हमने फाइनल भी खेला हां ऑफ कोर्स आप कैप्टनसी स्पीच तो होती होगी नहीं ऐसा कुछ ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है जो हम नॉर्मल डिस्कशन जो करते हैं गेम के दौरान आ, गेम के पहले वो नॉर्मल डिस्कशंस होते रहते उसके अलावा कोई आ, उसके अलावा कोई और चीजों के बारे में बात नहीं होती है आ, रोहित दिस वर्ल्ड कप यू हैव बीन अल्ट्रा एग्रेसिव सो व्हाट इज द फिलॉसफी बिहाइंड इट इज इट बिकॉज़ द यू हैव सॉलिड बैट्समैन टू फॉलो और you know, this is the, you have always been attacking batsmen, but particularly in this World Cup, you have been ultra aggressive. Anything you can say about that approach? No, look, honestly, before the start of the World Cup, I do wanted to play in a certain manner. Uh, I had no idea that it is going to come off or what it is, what if it doesn't come off. I had plans for both. If it comes off, what I'm going to do in the next game. If it doesn't come off, what I'm going to do in the next game. Um, but like, see, for me, what is important is because I start the innings, you know, there is a bit of freedom there uh, for me to go and express myself. Uh, but you must have seen in that game against England where I had to change my game a little bit uh, once we lost a few wickets uh, and then I had to change my game a little bit. I'm prepared to do that as well. Uh, that is what the experienced player needs to do. Uh, you 
can't just think that you have to play one way. Uh, you have to adapt and uh, adapt quickly and knowing the situations uh, that are there in front of you. So I'm prepared to do, uh, you know, whatever role I feel at that point is right for the team. So, you know, I've prepared my game, prepared my tactics around that. So I'm pretty clear in what I want to do uh, as a batsman, uh, you know. And, you know, when you play on good pitches, you sometimes you get that feeling that it's a good pitch. You can take on the bowlers, you know, sometimes if you see the ball is just, uh, you know, nipping around a little bit, you need to try and understand what are your uh, thoughts then. Uh, so I'm prepared to, you know, take all of this thought uh, into, into the game uh, and then go about it. Hey, Rohit. Uh, we started this tournament, a lot of us were here in Chennai when the tournament began. It was your press conference before taking on Australia. It was the tournament opener. And there was the question of unfinished business. And um, a lot of us remember that one line you said. It was very nonchalant. And you said, it would be nice to win a World Cup. Um, is that an attitude that has helped in your campaign? Not the aggressive, we want to do this, we want to get that. Has that understated, quiet sort of a yeah. uh, presence helped you in your campaign so far? And... Uh, Coming a full circle from that point to here, what would you say? Yeah, no, exactly. Like you said, spot on because that's what I believe in. Uh, you know, just going there and, you know, keeping it nice and easy, calm. Uh, like I said, when you asked me that question, I said, yeah, it'll be nice to win the World Cup. So I, in, in the same tone, I want to say it now again, the same thing. It'll be nice to do it uh, uh, because we worked really hard for it. But again, we don't want to get too uh, excited about it or you don't want to feel too much pressure about it. You know, a nice balanced uh, atmosphere, a ni nice balanced thinking uh, at this stage will be really nice. And it's just not from me. You can, I can sense that from every other player as well in the, in the changing room that, you know, there's a laugh going around uh, in the changing room. Uh, there's a bit of tensed faces as well. I'm not going to uh, hide that, but that's that's normal. That's that that is what you know. That is what that is why this sport is so exciting because you you see all different kind of emotions. Uh, but obviously, when it's the game time, you know, guys are very well aware of what needs to be done now. Uh, we we don't need to tell them specifically that okay, now put your game face on. It's time to get the job done and all of that. Guys are quite experienced. Uh, not many have played the finals, but, you know, they've, like I said, playing for India is as good as playing any World Cup game because there's so much pressure, there's so much expectation. Always uh, at the airport, you're going here and there, World Cup jeetna hai, ye karna hai, run banana hai, doso banana hai, paas wicket lena hai. So that, that happens. So it is in your ears all the time. I, I've seen guys starting, started to wear headphones now so that they can keep the noise out. Uh, but it's nice, you know, we've enjoyed our journey thoroughly till now. Uh, so yeah, just one final push now. Hi Rohit. This has been an interesting journey for you yourself. Twelve years back at home, you were not a part of the team, but today you're leading this side. Talk to us about your journey and how does it feel today? Look, I mean, I don't want to go back there. It was a very emotional period. Uh, I think I'm sure everyone knows about it. It was a very hard time, but again, now I'm very happy that I'm at this stage where, you know, I'm, I'm leading the team into the final. I never thought it will happen, but, you know, things do happen if you, uh, if you wish for it. Uh, and if you dream big, all these things happen. Um, so, yeah, I, I'll, I'll just, I'm just very happy to be here, but I know uh, the importance of tomorrow. Uh, so, I just want to keep it nice and relaxed and calm and not get too emotional thinking about what happened in 2011 or what can happen tomorrow. I just want to create the same environment that I created for myself when we started this World Cup. Uh, we were all in great space. We are in. We are all in great space now. So I just want to maintain that. Uh, like I said, don't want to go too up. Don't want to go too low. Just nice and balanced. Rohit, एक अश्विन पहला मैच खेले थे जब हम ऑस्ट्रेलिया के खिलाफ खेले थे. तो क्या माइंड में ये भी है कि फाइनल में शायद छह बॉलर्स के साथ जाएं? या फिर तीन स्पिनर दो फास्ट बॉलर क्या कुछ ऐसा सोचा कि अश्विन हमने देखा कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया के खिलाफ हमेशा बहुत एक प्रबल दावेदार रहे हैं नहीं देखिए मैंने अभी बताया कि सब सब ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल है मैं अभी कुछ बोलना नहीं चाहूँगा कि क्या करने वाले हम और क्या नहीं करने वाले हम 
बट देखिए सारे प्लेयर्स को पता है ये चीज़ हमने स्टार्ट ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट ही हमने बात किया था बात किया था कि कोई भी प्लेयर कभी भी खेल सकता है तो ऐसा प्लेयर के दिमाग में नहीं है कि मेरा तो टूर्नामेंट हो गया मैं रिलैक्स करता हूँ ऐसा ऐसा कोई फीलिंग नहीं है क्योंकि सबको पता है कि कभी भी खेलने का मौका आ सकता है जैसे आपने देखा कि एक इंजरी हो गई उसके बाद दो लड़कों को मौका मिल गया तो गाइज हैव टेकन दैट जॉब वेरी गाइज हैव डन दैट जॉब परफेक्टली शमी और सूर्या सूर्या को हालांकि उनको ज़्यादा बैटिंग करने का मौका मिला नहीं बट शमी ने यू नो आकर अच्छे तरीके से काम किया बहुत आसानी से वो अपना माइंड रिलैक्स कर सकते थे कि नहीं मेरा तो हो गया अभी आई थिंक मुझे नहीं खिलाएंगे बट यू नो ऑल क्रिकेटर्स आर क्वाइट प्रोफेशनल सबको पता है कि मौका कभी भी आ सकता है ये वर्ल्ड कप है ये हर साल नहीं होता है आ, तो रेडी रहना मेंटली प्रिपेयर करना मेंटली ये सब बहुत ज़रूरी है तो आई थिंक पंद्रह के पंद्रह लोग को मैं अवेलेबल रखूँगा कल के लिए और फिर देखते हैं कि कौन किस को खिलाए Um, uh, Rohit, you've spoken this year a few times about wanting to create a brand of cricket for your team uh, in other formats, but especially one-day cricket. So, just the way you guys have played uh, in the last ten matches, do you think you created that brand and set the standard just internationally going forward, regardless of what happens tomorrow? Or in your head, are you going, "Are a brand win, okay? Match, win, na hi hai kar." No, no, brand win is necessary because if we decide something, then we have to. go and implement that uh, and i thought you know guys have implemented that you can see uh, with the scores that we have put up on the board uh, the way we've gone about our chases uh, obviously you know all seven cannot just go and play uh, widely and play that brand of cricket obviously the roles have given to certain individuals as to what their roles are for this team and what can benefit the team um, and i i think 99.9% we played that brand of cricket 1% that point one i have taken out because you cannot always be perfect that's why i have just taken out that one point one but i am very pleased with the messaging that myself and rahul bhai has given to the boys and you know boys have responded to that pretty pretty well uh, without worrying about their place in the team without worrying about the scores that they get uh, you know and without even worrying about what happens outside that is the most important part uh, because you know that 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 environment that we've created uh, is 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 a very special one and we want to maintain that environment uh, you know as long as possible uh, and not get faced by what what happens outside or what people talk or you know if if the score doesn't come from individuals i don't want them to change the thought process that they were in before the start of the tournament so all those things are very clear with everyone and i thought in this entire 10 games that we played we were quite uh, straight forward with that thought rohit uh, while talking when uh, talking about playing against australia you guys are quite familiar with playing against australia you have already played two odi series against them in this year so just wanted to know does this familiarity at all help in a big occasion like this no it does help it do, i mean see look those two odis are not going to matter too much because all their players play with with you all the time in ipl teams and all that so you know the mental side of you know xyz player what they think and how they go about playing each game and likewise they also know about what we do uh, so i mean i i, I don't think that Uh, unknown territory is a situation these days because you're quite familiar with uh, you know what each individual is all about and how they want to prepare themselves and what the mindset they will have while playing the world cup final we are quite aware of you know how their each individual is going to approach and probably it's the same for them as well they will know what we are going to do so it's just uh, going to be a battle between bat and ball tomorrow more than uh, you know knowing each other as such thank you thank you